Hey everybody, Rachel here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple practice puppet that you can use to work on your puppeteering. It looks basically like this. Now we like practice puppets because they are nice and light, so when you're trying to work out what you're doing, you're not killing your arm. Uh, they're super portable, so you can take them anywhere you go if you want to do that. Um, and also, they are so much faster and easier to make than full-size puppets. So, so let's just launch into this stuff. Um, well, my friend here is super handsome. Thank you. You're very welcome. He's actually very simply put together. Oh, watch out! Yeah, he's basically just a couple of ping pong balls, an elastic loop, a feather, uh, some of those little felt tabbies that you put on your cabinets or the bottoms of your lamp so not to scratch up your, your awesome wood stuff, and basically a metric ton of hot glue. Looks like we have forgotten a little something. Uh, ping pong balls! Thanks. All right, so yeah, you start by gluing your ping pong balls together, and I've said I just ignore the fact that they're labels. I make them kiss each other. I stick them together because that's going to get hidden later on by the elastic and the feather and your hand because that part's not going to be facing your audience at all. Cool. So you hold this for a minute because hot glue takes a second to, you know, to glue up. Next thing I do is I measure out my elastic and I have very intelligently put a big old pile of hot glue over in the corner of, of my measuring space. Um, you can use a ruler for this. I just happen to have this awesome mat where this is all marked out for me. Um, so like I said, you want six and a quarter or as near as you can get to it because six is just a little too little and six and a half is a little too much. And this of course is if you're making these for grown-ups, which is usually what I'm doing because I generally am teaching grown-ups because I don't have kids, so it gets a little weird for me if I have to interact with children. Great, so then you have that. So then you just, you cut that, you measure that loop, you cut it, you hot glue it together, wait for that to dry. While we're waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna give you a little safety announcement. Hot glue is hot. Okay, moving right along. Um, you want to glue your elastic loop to the, the underside of your ping pong balls, thus covering up your, your little logos. Um, then the next thing I do is I put on the feather. Um, I like the feather because it, it gives them a little uh, je ne sais quoi, a little dash and flash, and it's nice and light. And remember, the, the whole point of making these is that they are lighter and faster than normal puppets. So yeah, you put a nice little feather and get some nice movement going there. If you, if you don't have individual feathers, you could use a nice boa. It's always a nice fashion accessory, and it works for puppets too. Um, and then the last thing I do is I put on the pupils, um, because, because otherwise people tend to find them a little creepy. A little creepy without the pupils. So yeah, I just uh, take, a, again, I use these felt pads that are pre-cut into circles because I am lazy. Um, but yeah, just pop those on into any sort of configuration that looks nice to you. And there you have it. If you followed the instructions at this point, you have your very own shiny new practice puppet friend. Um, please take them out into the world and, and practice your puppeteering and make new friends on your, your favorite form of public transport. Thanks for watching.